Hey guys, this is Cal Jordi, and I'm talking to you here from uh, the airport, Reno, Nevada. I'm heading over to Las Vegas right now for another day of seminar in um, how to hold employees accountable. It's a leadership uh, seminar for managers and supervisors. And um, leadership is one of my favorite topics. Uh, communication, leadership, they go side to side. And leadership, really, I'm very passionate about because that's a driving force for our success. That's really driving the force. And um, today I'm going to talk to you about, I want to finish the, um, the uh, series of the words not to use and why not to use them. Um, and um, today's words are always and never. Avoid using the words always and never. Why? Because when you say you're always late or you never, you know, do this to me or, you know, you're always um, negative or you're never um, there for me when I need you. Okay, you know what I'm talking about? Especially when, you know, with your significant other, your spouse, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Uh, when you say always and never, it creates automatic boom, just like resistance. You are actually creating that, you know, resistance in somebody else. You're doing that pushing to each other and you're forcing the other person to you know lash back when you say always and never and when you say always and never the other person will be something will be you know will be challenging that in their brain and would say something really well last Tuesday uh, around five o'clock I was here on time if you were saying you're, you're never on time or you would say something like uh, well I've you know I've been there for you when you you needed this from me I showed that I was there for you. So there are very few things in life, folks, that are always and never. Can we all agree on that? So avoid the words always and never and be more specifically or say something like frequently or few times in the past. This way you would reduce the level of conflict with others and will help you become a more effective leader and a better communicator. All right? I'll speak to you tomorrow from Henderson, Nevada. Cheers.